Hi kindergartners, I have a book for you today called Next Time You See a Spider Web. And this book is not a story. It doesn't have characters. It doesn't have a beginning, middle, and an end. It doesn't um, have a problem with um, a solution to the problem of, of the story. It's what you call a nonfiction book, which just means that you're learning things about a topic. And the topic of this book is spiders and spider webs. And I'm sure many of you have strong feelings about spiders. Either you really don't like them or you do like them. So um, hopefully after studying a little bit about spiders, you'll feel differently. This is the spiders home. Here we go. Here's a, a beautiful boy or girl looking at a beautiful web. It says, next time you see a spider web, take a few moments to observe it carefully. Do you see a pattern to the web or does it look like a tangled mess? Follow the lines at the edges of the web. Can you figure out what they are attached to? Do you see a spider on the web? Is there anything trapped in the web? Gently touch the outer edge of the web. How does it feel? How does it move when you tap it with your fingers? Those are great questions, which I think would be fun to go out and ask yourself when next time you find a spider web. Ooh, look at all of those. Very cool, huh? Spiderwebs are some of the most fascinating structures in nature. You can find them in many places and in different shapes and sizes. Some have elegant patterns and others look like a jumble of threads. Have you ever wondered why spiders make webs? I bet you know already. It's for food. Spider webs are traps designed to catch food for spiders to eat. Spiders eat other animals, mostly insects and other small invertebrates. Web building spiders catch their prey in many ways using different types of webs. So next they're gonna show you all these different types of webs, which I have seen, but I never really recognize that they were all spider webs that I was looking at. So here's one. Can you see how it's kind of just um, looks kind of like a mess, right? You've probably seen a spider web that looks like a mess of threads. These are known as tangled webs or cobwebs. When an insect flies into or walks over this kind of web, it becomes entangled in the silk threads, making it easy for the spider to catch the insect. So that is cool, because I thought cobwebs were just kind of like dust, and I wasn't even sure what else, but they're actually a type of spider web. You may have noticed a web that lies flat across the grass or on a bush. Can you see that one? I've definitely seen that too. These webs are called sheet webs. The spider creates a sheet of silk and weaves special strands above it. When an insect flies into the top threads, it gets knocked down and captured in the sheet below. Pretty cool. Ooh, this one's really neat too. This one looks like a cave almost, right? This one is another kind of web called a funnel web. These webs are wide at the top and get smaller at the base. The spider hides inside the funnel and waits. When it feels an insect walking across the web, the spider rushes across the web and grabs its prey. So it uses the sensation of movement to tell it where, when it has a yummy dinner. Perhaps the most well-known type of spider web is the orb web. These beautiful and elaborate webs look like the wheel of a bicycle. 
with threads connecting each spoke. When an insect flies into the web, it becomes trapped in sticky silk. The spider, usually waiting in the center of the web or hiding nearby, feels the vibration on the threads and rushes in to get its prey. And that's the kind of the classic spider web, right? But not all spiders build webs. Hmm. Did you know that? In fact, about half of spider species have other clever ways to catch food. For example, jumping spiders use excellent vision to detect prey, and then they pounce on it. Look at the number of eyes on that spider. Ooh. Net casting spiders hold a net of silk between their front legs. When their prey passes by, the spider sweeps it up in the net. I've never seen one of those. Have you? There's another kind. This guy's hanging out in the water. Fishing spiders wait on or near water with their legs resting on the surface and they attack prey when they feel vibrations on the water. This is called a trap door spider. Builds a trap door over their burrow and they attack when they feel something walk across it. Almost looks like more than eight legs, doesn't it? Let's count just to be sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Even though not all spiders build webs, all spiders do produce silk. Most spiders use silk to make a drag line. That's a single thread they leave behind them when they walk or jump. It's kind of like a safety line that they use to quickly climb back up to where they started. Have you ever seen a spider crawl up a safety line like that? Spiders use, also use silk to make other structures like egg sacs. Some species, like this jumping spider, even use silk to build a retreat that they can serve as a hideout, like a fort. People have long been fascinated by the incredible strength and flexibility of the spider silk. Some spider silk is stronger than a thread of steel and some can stretch up to three times its length without breaking. Wow. Scientists are even trying to copy how spiders make their silk so they can make materials that are extra strong like armor or bandages or ropes or parachutes or even lightweight clothing. We use nature a lot of times, we copy nature Get a lot of our ideas from, from Mother Nature. Engineers and architects are intrigued by the durability of spider webs. They've noticed that when a spider web is damaged, only part of it breaks while the rest of it remains stable. Can you think of something that we make that um, we might try and copy the spider's web when we build it? We don't, maybe a piece could break, but we don't want the whole thing to break. Can you think of anything? What about a bridge or a building? So next time you see a spider web, remember that a beautiful web is actually a brilliant trap. A small, skillful spider made an amazing material and wove it into that ingenious design, so smart to capture its food. Isn't that remarkable? And now you see if you can go find some spiders. You know where they like to do their work, outside or in the grass, now you know, or in a corner. So have fun hunting for spiders and their webs.